Everyone, welcome back to Bronco Wild Outdoors. It's awesome to be back. Hey, look, we just started this channel. We don't have a big library of videos, but we are building them. Maybe two a week. Uh, we'll see what we do. Really not on a set schedule. Listen, like a lot of you, the 2021 Ford Bronco is a very exciting thing for us all, at least if we're buying one. Now, if you're just watching this from the sidelines, it's still exciting to see all of the energy uh, options, things that are rolling out at lightning speed. Uh, so it's pretty cool to see it happening. Um, but I'm excited because I'm a reservation holder for two Broncos. One we turn into an order, uh, the other one we haven't yet. Uh, and I'm a reservation holder from night uh, one or day one from the night of the reveal. So the website, as you probably know, crashed and it took forever for me to get through, maybe around, oh, midnight or so and uh, got my reservations in and we're good to go. So moving forward, I had an opportunity to do something I haven't been able to do. And that was to see a Ford Bronco, a full-size two-door or four-door in person and be able to sit in it and touch it and look at it and see all the little areas that I haven't been able to see on someone else's video or uh, pictures. So, hey, without any more, delay we are going to crank this bad boy up here so we're going to share or i'm going to share a uh a video some pictures of this new bronco uh we've got we've got technical difficulties please stand by boom there we go all right so uh by the way on the zoom the toolbars right in the way when you're trying to enlarge the picture on a on a mac thank goodness all right so there you see we have a gray and forgive me i didn't look it up yet but uh the gray badlands so don't know the color now this is no sasquatch package so the tires are 33s this particular bronco has a 2.3 liter uh, with the manual transmission so you know the six speed with the crawler I made a mistake by calling it a, says, a seven speed and I got a little bit of flack. One thing I wanna mention in this video here, uh, the area was uh, uh, roped off. You had to register to get into this area. They only let so many people in. As you can see, this bottle of, or this tub of wipes here, they were wiping this thing down. I'm surprised the color's still on. Every time someone got in or looked at it, they wiped it down and moved on. So in some of the pictures, you may see some, looks like wet areas on the interior. That is from the wipes and it hadn't yet evaporated. So let's move on. So you see that gray Badlands and that thing is actually re really cool. Both of these, by the way, there's two here. Uh, both had the soft top, you'll see that. Uh, so you can get an idea of this top is, is closed except for the back is open where you would store stuff. Yeah, let's go to this. Now the badging, I love the Badlands badging. It's pretty awesome. There's the B&O bar, I've heard it called. <laughs> Uh, you can see everything but the B and the, or you can see the B and O and everything else is gone. This does have the steel bumper in the front. See the removable caps. Now, the one thing that's very interesting, I've seen it in pictures and videos, but to see it in person, uh, this Bronco gives you a little bit different feeling, better for me. Um, I mean, I've always liked them, but, but, you know, seeing the pictures and the videos does not do the actual Bronco justice. Uh, the... Toe hooks here in the front are massive, by the way. Some of them look chintzy when you bolt them on. The, this is just massive hardware here. So you can see the front is pretty cool. And over here on the side, you'll see um, this is a black diamond with the antimatter blue. And that's a sharp color. Now, this particular Bronco had the V6, 2.7 V6 auto, of course. Uh, same bumper without the B&O bar. There again, another clean look. See that uh, that gray grill. It's not the gloss like you'd see on the wild track. Now that color right there. Oh, by the way, this black diamond has the Sasquatch package. So you can really see the difference with the wheels and tires. Uh, that color is really nice. Uh, the antimatter blue. A lot of metal flake in that. It really looks good when you see it in person. Now, there is a different profile uh, a little bit further back. Uh, they, have, they have the back swing door over swing gate open, the hood, and see the top, and look on the other side here. 
the doors are off. So you really get the feel for now what it's going to look like with the doors off. Obviously, you see the foam bag there, or the, uh, excuse me, <laughs> the door bag. I was thinking about my phone over here ringing. Uh, the, uh, the door bags here. Uh, they didn't have them stored away with the harness in the back, uh, but, you know, if you've seen the videos from a couple other places. Now, this is a video here. I'm not going to play it. There was some music playing that day, so I don't want to get, you know, whacked here on uh, YouTube. So you can see the tire size. The 33s just look a lot smaller when you just compare it to the 35s on the Sasquatch. And there again, very clean, very nice. Um, I don't know, you know, obviously on the colors here, I'm, I've ordered an Area 51 for my first one. The other one we haven't really determined. I kind of want to start to see a lot more of them to decide. I think maybe one of the reds will be good. One thing I like here is how they brought the color of the stitching in the seats and the, um, the accent inside from the color of the badge. So in the Badlands, it's this orange. And uh, it's pretty cool. Now, one thing I'll mention, both of these Broncos had the waterproof interior. Uh, if you haven't seen that in person, you're going to be very happy with it. At least I think you will be. I was worried it was going to be sort of like the work van material, that sort of hard plastic. It feels not quite like shark skin, but something like that. It's very durable. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's really a premium interior, I think. Uh, you can see in the Badlands here, the 12 inch touchscreen. It's pretty awesome. And we have a lot to go through. So I'm just going to sit through these. You can obviously see it. Man, I love that badge. It's awesome. So that's the uh, four, uh, the 2.3 liter. See the battery uh, in at a kind of an angle. They put it in an angle here. Don't really know what the reason for that is. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter, just an observation. Uh, fresh air intake right here. So this is where we're drawing our air from. I'm assuming it's the only place. Um, if that's the case, uh, we can get in some pretty deep water. I mean, we'll we'll be testing the interior. Um, you can see where the doors bolt on here and the wiring harness disconnects from this location here. Like I said, uh, it, you know, hard to tell from videos. That's why I was anxious to see one in person. When you sit in this Bronco, at least this is my uh, experience, when you sit in there, it just, uh, it's like it was made for me. I told my wife, if I went to Detroit, sat down and said, measure me, build a vehicle for me, here's what I want it to do. I mean, literally, this would be it. You can see that, uh, you see the different uh, points where you lift the door. So they have the handles here, and then they have a handle up here. So when the door is off, you can carry it around and it makes makes more sense. There's another view of it and a sharp view right there. I don't know why. It's just uh, can't wait to, to get mine, take the top off. Now I've got the MIC top coming. As far as I know right now, that's not delayed. I think what's going to delay mine will be the Sasquatch package unless uh, things change. But based on a previous email that I received, you, we all know the delays. There's plenty of people uh, you know, bashing forward for the delays on there. I'm not one of them. I realize that as a business owner, it, it's really an awkward time for us in business right now. And hey, you know, it is what it is. I'll get it when I get it. Uh, of course, with the waterproof interior, uh, we have the drain holes, which was in the other side. I think I zipped right past that. Well, anyway, we'll get back to it again, maybe. Uh, the first video I tried doing, I was trying to get all this. It went really long, so we're going to try to keep this as short. So you see this uh, texture in the seating and then on the upholstery on the seats. I love the Bronco there, the, the bucking horse. That's awesome. Uh, but but it, it feels like it looks. You have that granular look to it. And there's another shot. It's really clean. I mean, it really is. I love the controls where they're looking. I also love how we can lock the uh, armrest. So if the top's off and you run in a store and you have something out, if, as long as it fits in there, obviously. Uh, I can imagine there'll be some aftermarket stuff going on with lettering on the Broncos that aren't. You don't need to see me there. Uh, there again, another view. Very, very, very cool. Very cool. So I'm going to zip right through these. Um, 
seeing these, and by the way, these are two manufactured demos. They were touring through Southeastern Virginia uh, right before Easter. Well, let me go back to this, right before Easter. And there we go. So this is the 2.7 liter. I can see the, the uh, fresh air intake over here. I think it's a little bit bigger if we measure it. Could be the same. In this picture, it looks a lot bigger. See the battery in here at this angle. No big deal, just as, like I said, an observation. Oh, I want to mention something else. Now, I'm not going to go back. <clears throat> I overlooked it. But if you see right here, right here, you have this hood with all this honeycomb looking re reinforcement underneath the hood. Uh, on the Badlands, there was the insulation, the, the fabric, or the insulation stuck to it. So you couldn't see underneath that hood. Um, what I'm wondering is, is some kind of option. I think for sound, it would be uh, it would be on all of them. It was just off of this one. These are two pre-production models. So, you know, some things are um, not quite finished. Like, for example, the Black Diamond here did not have the badging on the side. See the fresh air again. Uh, one thing I really like, obviously, I've seen this early on from the pictures, but I like how the, the tires are located. I mean, we're right near the back of this. So I like how the back of the Bronco is right at the tire. I think it gives it a really good look. And I can't wait to see how it's going to ride. Uh, sitting in it was great. Uh, windshield, the the rake of the windshield, so the A A post, the A pillars, they're laid back just perfectly. You know the headlights on this, we've all seen those. They look really, really good. There's a clean view in the front, nice view in the side. All right, so they had the they had the fender flare here off. Uh, they had it off just to show how easy it was to take off, clean, put back upper control arm nice and clean. That steering wheel, uh, one thing, grabbing that steering wheel fits perfect in your hand, at least it did mine. The diameter is great, it's not too big. The distance between the dash and the top of the windshield is just clean. And you can see the eight inch touchscreen in this black diamond. So you can see as I'm sitting behind the wheel, it had a certain feel to it, uh, very comfortable. Um, I think it's gonna be a pleasure to drive. Nice view, looking up from the top. Better view, looking through the, the back. And hey, look, seeing this Bronco or seeing these Broncos, it just gave me a different perception. You know, I like them. I like the, the, the specs. I've been reading the specs. And obviously, seeing all the videos on YouTube and, and the reveal and, and pictures and just reading as much as I can about them, there's no substitute for sitting in one. And I can tell you right now, I was already sold. Obviously, I'm buying two of them. Really, really, really like it. So here's an Easter egg here, the coordinates for uh, where the Bronco was revealed on the reveal night. So uh, I'm actually going to look these up, but one of these days I will visit that place. It's going to be pretty awesome. The auxiliary switches, they're really clean, S similar to my F-250. I have a similar situation, but um, they look good. I like them. I love this, uh, I call it a badge. Um, here it's pretty cool. I like how it also kind of looks like the front of the Bronco. Imagine that. Uh, the bolts that are removable by the user all have Bronco written in them. Uh, so they're self explanatory which ones you can move. There's a nice clean shot, the tail light, and the, the. I'm used to, say, I'm a Mustang guy. I'm used to say the running horse, but in this case, the bucking horse or the Bronco. There's a nice view from underneath. That's a piece of plastic that was on the ground that uh, no one picked up, but um, very clean look. This is from the, obviously the rear. Um, I like how the muffler's tucked away. It looks good. And you can see these are driven. Uh, they're driven every single day. So we're gonna go through here and let you see a couple more pictures. Uh, and that, that elevated, uh, that 3D Bronco there is just, Really clean. I like it. Back to the Badlands here. You can tell by the uh, orange stitching. There's the badge. I love it. So this is a this is a nice deal. The grab handles, by the way, they're uh, they're rubber. Uh, I mean, of course, it's rubber coating something, but it's a really good grip to it. When you grab it, it just your hand almost sticks to it. Uh, so the they're not just there for looks. They're use for use. The steering wheel there again. That 12 inch, I'm so glad I upgraded to the 12 inch touchscreen. And there again, hard to tell, but that material, uh, whatever they're using on that, that they call it vinyl, but man, it is, it is nice. So nice view from the back.
a lot of storage. Rock rails, see the rock rails right here, it's pretty cool. There's that underneath the hood of the black diamond again, missing the insulation. I don't know if there's an option to get it in some and not others, but um, I'm pretty sure for sound deadening, it has to be there, but pre-production, so anything is possible. If you look hard enough, you can see some things that might seem a little out of place, and that is because pre-production. I did look for flaws in the painting. I did not see it in either one of these. Paint jobs were immaculate. And there's one of the drain plugs right there. You can see a grab handle. You take that out, lift it out, and there's a drain. There's also a deflector below it, so you can't get stuff to, you know, water and mud to shoot straight up through the hole. Uh, they did put something there, just the small things, but they all add up. And that's it. The rest of the pictures here are just this, pretty much the same thing. Pretty cool, that, that Bronco, pretty awesome. One thing we're going to try on this video real quick, we're going to see if this will work. This is a video I took right after, and I was excited. Let's see if it plays real quick. Everyone, Dwayne here at Bronco Loud Outdoors. So today is a very cool... Yeah, I don't think it likes the technology there. Hey, but we're going to stop the sharing, and I just want to tell you, um, seeing these Broncos in person took this what I already like about the Bronco and it just elevated it, right? I'm excited. I can't wait. I know we have the delays. I'm just sitting back waiting on that email to tell me when my VIN number is going to be created. And then we'll know when we're going to, uh, at least I'll know when I'm going to get mine. That's when the videos really start for us. Uh, the videos that we're going to do when we're out and about, uh, taking our Broncos to the beach, to the trails, to the mountains, wherever, whatever we do, it's going to be right here on this channel. And I say we, my entire family, some of the times, but my little boy, Gavin, my son, uh, him and I, this is where we're going to spend a lot of our time. It's going to be fun. So I'm out of here. Thank you. See you. Hey, by the way, like and subscribe. I really need to support on this channel. We need to grow this channel. Content. This is not just going to be the same old lame content over and over and over again. This is going to be experiencing the wild through the windshield of a Ford Bronco 2021. See you guys later. Bye.